Throughout the film Game Night, various children's games were played while trying to navigate the plot of the movie. Hot Potato is played with the egg in the mansion. Charades is played between Max and Annie in the airport. And during Kevin and Michelle's argument when they're locked in the room, they're playing Guess Who. If I guess it right, you tell me. Fine. Was it an actor? Yes, the tower isn't stable. I'm not stable. Was he over 40? And one of the last games we saw was Max and Annie playing Operation when she's trying to remove the bullet from his arm. Bet you didn't notice that Easter egg, did you? Hello everyone and back to another exciting episode of Movie Mistakes. And today we're going to show you 10 of the mistakes that we found in Game Night. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell now. We'll keep you updated of all of our newest videos. Near the beginning of the movie, where Max and Annie are talking to Gary while he is at his mailbox, you'll notice that Max is holding a bag of groceries, and you can barely see that there's a stalk of lettuce just barely peeking out of the bag. However, when the camera switches from Gary back over to Max and Annie, we can now see that the lettuce is further up the bag than it was before. Not a big deal because it may have looked like the bag dropped down just a little bit, but without Max messing with it, it looks like the lettuce has gone further down in the bag than it was originally. Well, Ken, I'm going to ask you some questions while I eat my chips. So during their game night, Max's brother Brooks shows up. And during this scene, it's probably not unusual to see some dip, some salsa, some wine, and oh, this beer bottle. And as you may have already guessed, as the camera switches from Brooks back over to a wide shot of the crew, the beer bottle is now missing. Give me a keg of beer. Max's brother Brooks has talked the crew into having game night at his house. Hey, hey, guys, what do you say we do this at my house next week? Oh, house? Really? What house? He has hired a company to stage a kidnapping. That brings us to this point where a fake detective shows up to show his badge. So nothing unusual about this guy walking in empty-handed with just his badge present. But what doesn't make sense to me is where he got these FBI dossiers from. Well, evidently, you can't keep track of what the FBI's doing. I mean, didn't the guy walk in the door empty-handed? Where did they come from? So for the next mistake, the FBI agent is knocked unconscious and Brooks is taken. That was amazing. Really good. That was really good. Ryan is standing over him and notice that he is lying right next to the crack in the floor. We don't do crack. We don't do that. Your crack is whack. But just a little while later, after Ryan blocks the door that Kevin and Michelle are in, you'll notice that his body is moved further to the left. You move like they do. I've never seen anyone move that fast. For this mistake, Ryan is attempting to bribe one of the murder mystery employees with $17. You know what? It doesn't matter how slowly you slide it over. Okay, it's $17. How much do you want? From this angle, we can see the bill is at a horizontal position. However, when the camera changes angles, we can now see that the bill is now in a vertical position along with the rest of the bills. Where's the money, Lebowski? I oh, want that money, Lebowski. So after Annie shoots Max, Blood! patches his arm up, they all meet back at Annie and Max's house to devise a plan to save his brother. You can see here that Max is trying to keep the swelling down by keeping a small ice pack on his arm. But as the camera angle switches from their friends back over to Max, we get a close-up of him and the ice bag, and it has grown considerably for some reason. Maybe they felt like they couldn't see the little one big enough, or maybe they lost the little one in between scenes? Who knows? So the crew has finally caught up to Max and the kidnappers. They're all demanded to lay down in the middle of the street. On the ground! You too, playboy. Get over there. Get on the ground. Yeah? And from this angle, we can see that Max is lying on the painted yellow divide in the middle of the street. So as the two, Max and Brooks, hash out their differences, we get a wide shot of the whole crew. 
And from here, we can see that the whole crew is shifted over to the right with Kevin now laying on the painted yellow stripe. So the creepy neighbor Gary has shown up to save the day. Can't say I care for that nomenclature. Here we can see he's been shot, although it is all one big hoax. Keep an eye on the two strips of blood that are coming from his mouth. They're a few millimeters apart, wouldn't you say? But when the camera angle changes, we get a wide shot of Gary, and the two strips of blood have a lot more distance than they did previously. I mean, I appreciate them trying to get that detail right in between shots, but yeah, we can tell. So for this mistake, Gary has been shot for real. As the camera swings over to a wide view of the crew, we can now see the Bulgarian has gotten out of his car and is approaching them. Take note that his car is not parked on the double yellow line in the middle of the street. So just as they walk up, they kick Gary in the back, and now we get a close-up of the Bulgarian, and we can now see that the BMW is now parked over the double yellow line. Oh, and if you're wondering where you've seen the Bulgarian before, yeah, that's Dexter. That's what I said. That I'm always right. That you were right about Lila. She was bad for me. And that I'm always right. So for our last mistake, we are now on the Bulgarian's plane. You know what? No, I, I can't do that. His name is Dexter. I'm going to call him Dexter. We are now on Dexter's plane, and Max and Annie are attempting to rescue Brooks. Dexter throws his knife at Max, and if you've seen Dexter before, you know that he's pretty good at that. Max then drops the guns you can see here, which lands promptly in front of him. But just as Dexter tackles them, we get a shot of him from behind, and we can now see that the gun is missing. Where it went, your guess is as good as mine. And that's how you get the drop on someone. So what did you think of these cool movie mistakes? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to let us know what you'd like to see next using the hashtag mistakes. And as always, join the Movie Mistakes family today by hitting the subscribe button and notification bell now. We'll keep you updated of all our up and coming videos. Hey, we want to give a huge thank you to all the super fans out there that continue to support the channel. Keep it up. We couldn't do it without you. So thanks for hanging out with us here at Movie Mistakes and we'll see you next week. And that is how you do a game night.